close your eyes and take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body, and wherever it's most prominent, focus your attention there. Next step is to make it comfortable. If long breathing is comfortable, keep it up. If not, you can change. Slower, faster, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, longer or shorter. See what rhythm of breathing feels best right now. You want to put the mind in a good place. Because it's good to have some time to stop and think, stop and reflect as you go through life. We get the mind still, sometimes just to keep it in the stillness, and sometimes we get it still in order to reflect. One thing that's good to reflect on is gratitude. When the Buddha was introducing right view, one of the things he said was, there are mother and father, which sounds awfully obvious. But back in those days, that had a special meaning. There were people who said that what your parents did for you didn't have any meaning because they were influenced by the stars, or some. they were forced to give birth to you, they were forced to raise you. So there was no merit on their part, there was no virtue on their part. So there's no need for gratitude. And when the Buddha said, there is mother, there is father, he was pointing out the fact that, yes, there is need for gratitude, because they had the choice. They could have aborted you, they could have thrown you away. But they didn't. They raised you. They went through all that trouble. And it's good to think about that. They chose to do the right thing. They chose to do the good thing. And it's because of that that you survived. You're here because of other people's goodness. And it's good to think about that. You have a debt to them. So when you think about your father, like today is Father's Day, you think about your mother, you think about your teachers, everybody you are indebted to for having developed you be a good person. It's good to think about how you might repay. And one of them, of course, is to carry on the tradition of goodness. You look after them first, make sure that they're not suffering. And if they're still alive, you look after them. If they passed away, you do merit, make merit, dedicate it to them. But more than that, you think about all the goodness they taught you, and you don't want that goodness to die from the world. This is how you show your respect for them, is that you, whatever good qualities you learn from them, whatever good principles you learn from them, you try to embody those in your thoughts and your words and your deeds. That's genuine respect. That's genuine gratitude. And then you think further, just as you are here because of other people's goodness, there must be other people who depend on your goodness in order to survive. So you pass on that tradition of goodness. You try to pass on that tradition of helping. Because after all, what had you done for your parents before you came here? You were the one who pushed your way in. And they didn't have any choice. You were the one who chose them. But they, even though they didn't have the choice, they took you in. They cared for you. And they chose to continue looking after you. But they didn't choose you, particularly. But they chose to be good. That's why you're here. So in the same way, you can choose to be good. There are such situations where you can't choose who you're in a position to help, but you see, okay, this is the person I'm, who's nearby, this is the person I can help. Okay, choose to do the good thing. Pass the goodness on. Because if you don't pass it on, it dies with you. And we look around us and see what, we see what happens in a society where goodness dies. People can't talk to one another, people yell at each other, people shout at each other. People think it's okay to kill one another. That's a society where goodness is dying. And if you don't want to live in a society like that, we'll make sure that goodness doesn't die with you, that it lives on in your thoughts, in your words, in your deeds. And this is in the way in which you pay back your debt to all those who have been good to you in the past. So gratitude, as the Buddha said, is a sign of a good person. It really makes you, it shows that you appreciate other people's goodness. You appreciate the effort they went to to be good to you. That means you're likely to be a good person yourself. So try to carry on that tradition. Don't let goodness disappear from the world.